to take pictures over there near press wall, and then we're going to take a few pictures here near the table, and then we're going to start our press conference. The procedure is as follows. We have four minutes over there, then a minute here, and then as soon as we ask you to take your places, could you please be as fast as possible to take it? <laughs> minutes to take all pictures we need. Yeah. See, see, see. Salvador, Luisa, if you would love to stand and to take, to take the um, trophy, the prize, you can take pictures. As much thank you very much we have to finish with this and move on with the press conference we need to to stop taking pictures because we have to move on and we need to start our press conference can you ask them to turn up the monitors over here turn up the volume on the monitors the technical the turn up the volume of the monitors the volume of the monitors No, uh, there's here water. Thank you. Yes, but uh, I don't No, 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 no. No, no, thank you. Okay. Thank you. I'm okay. So once again, a big and warm applause to Salvador oh, yeah. Soblar, Portugal. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. We're moving with our first questions. Uh, Salvador, once again, congratulations. Thank you. So, Portugal, 49 entries. Um, 41, you've made it to the final, and only six times. Um, and no, no, there were no times when it was the, like the winning time. So it's the first time ever Portugal is winning. Congratulations mm -hmm. on that. And now the question is, what were you thinking about when you thought that, oh my God, Portugal is winning? Uh, hello. Um, I didn't understand the votes. Uh, I think they're very hard to understand. I think you have to be a, a mathematician or something. Uh, so, uh, but uh, may, uh, then uh, s someone from uh, our team uh, told us we won, and then yeah, it was a surprise. It was good. It was good. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you very much. Once again, we would like to ask everybody to take your seats, and please, dear photographers, give some time for us to ask questions and for our press and journalists. Salvador, what are your plans for the future? What's next? How tomorrow's morning will differ from today's? Um, it won't differ in any way. I'll, I'll, I'll have a, a tour, you know, a summer tour in Portugal. 
and I'll just continue to do my life. <laughs> I don't think anything will change, you know. This, this is fun, and uh, let's not forget these things are you win today and tomorrow. So the, you have to continue doing a great uh, musical job, and that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm, I'm working on a second album, too, and that's what I'm thinking about. Thank you very much. And now we are going to take questions from our floor. Nada. Ai, desculpa. Desculpa. <laughs> okay. So please. I think first one is going to be Alistair. Yes, you please. Hi, Alistair from Australia. Salvador, congratulations. Cheers. Portugal, congratulations. But I have to say that that idiot who jumped on stage during Jamala's performance does not represent Australians. We love Eurovision. We were all horrified, <laughs> and we condemn his actions. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry I don't have a question for you, but congratulations. Nice, okay, nice, thank nice. Thank you, Alistair, for your message. Yay. So please, next question here. Please pass the microphone. Of course, uh, hello, good evening, and congratulations, Portugal. After so many years, you deserve for that. Bria. I know, I know you have beautiful venues, so we expect a great context next year. Thank you, Ukraine, for hosting us. Yeah. And uh, as you know, you had a year break in the Eurovision Song Contest. Like Ukraine last year, they won after one year break. Do you think mm -hmm. Russia may win next year? Oh. <laughs> and, and you said that it was real art which won in this contest, not fireworks. But don't you, I mean, are you afraid that your song may not be played in the radio stations? How you react on that? I never wrote a song to play in the radio stations, man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> My... My album came, came out in 2016, and nobody gave a shit. And then uh, it's, it's jazz, you know, it's the way jazz is. And then uh, after this festival and uh, this beautiful song, we, we got, uh, people got to know me and they bought the album. I guess it's the way it works. Uh, but, I, but I'm thankful for that. I, I'm thankful. But uh, I forgot the question, man. I'm, I'm just so overwhelmed. Ah, if I think Russia's going to win, I don't know. No one knows what the future yeah. has in store for us. Yeah. Uh, yes, lady in yellow, uh, lady yellow in dress yellow. over there. And uh. Salvador, <laughs> and Margarita Chorna Kondratnika from Reuters TV, my warmest congratulations from the bottom of my heart. Thank and you. Salvador, I remember I saw you on Monday, and you were wearing a T-shirt saying SOS Refugees. Uh -huh. I know this contest was viewed by you as a platform to deliver a broader message. And I think it's high time for you to address the audience and tell them something more about not only music, but something else you want to tell the people. And also, second question, if I may. Uh, last year, the competition was already different from the previous years with Jamala's unique voice. This year, you're very different from the other contestants. Do you think that the character of the Eurovision Song Contest is changing now with you and Jamala last year? Thank you so much. All Thank right. you. First question, du point. Uh, I sent out the, the message about the refugees because I, I, I thought it was uh, the biggest problem Europe has now and I saw I saw this at a, as a platform to say it but it was not a political message and uh, I got a, I was forbidden to use the sweatshirt after that uh, we got an email from the organization saying we couldn't wear it anymore because they don't want political or commercial m messages which I think is weird because what if I have an Adidas uh, sweatshirt is that a commercial me message uh, it was it wasn't a political message it was just humanitarian, but I think I, I said everything I, I had to say. I, I don't think I should press the same button. Um, well, and then the second question was... Ah, if this is changing, yes, yes, yes. 
Um, I, I don't know if it's changing. Uh, I hope this can bring a change, not only to this contest, but to uh, music in general and, and pop music. I, I wish I could bring a change. That would be my biggest um, joy. Uh, if I could bring some sort of change to these uh, things and to music in general, a music uh, with content. You know, this is a beautiful song. It has some emotional content and lyrical, a lyrical message, beautiful lyrical message. Uh, harmony, you know, things that people are not used to listening to these days because people just listen to the radio songs that are thrown at you and say you have to like this because I'm going to play it 16 times a day and we're forcing you to like this. And uh, if, if I can help to bring some change to music, I will be really joyful. And uh, part of this change is happening because of my sister Louisa, of course. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you to, for bringing some changes to your Eurovision Song Contest. We're going to take more questions from our floor. Please, let's start from here. Salvador, Torbjörnek, over here. Okay. Torbjörnek, Aftonbladet, Swedish newspaper. When, it, when you just got notified that you had won, you made a sign t towards your face like this. What, <laughs> what was going through your mind at that moment? I thought this was crazy, just like I thought having four bodyguards to take me to my uh, dressing room is crazy and just uh, too much. But, uh, you know, I'll, uh, I, I, I'm sure it will pass. <laughs> Thank you so much. I guess we have some questions from uh, your own yes, national delegation. Could you please pass the microphone? Yes, thank you. Thank you, José García from Portugal. Uh, congratulations, Salvador. Obrigado, obrigado. And all the delegation, of course, and Luisa. Um, knowing that fans play an important role in Eurovision, uh, how do you feel the support of the fans and how did that help you achieve this result? Um, I'm very thankful to everyone that supported the song. Um, people, I, I've been getting messages from uh, everyone back back at home and uh, from all over uh, Europe and the world, even. And uh, of course, it plays an important role when I'm when I'm there, um, when I'm there on stage singing, you know, saying my my piece. It, it was very nice to 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 feel the the love, you know. Who doesn't like to feel the love? No worries, that's okay. We're just celebrating country. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I was, you thought I wasn't done? I, I'm done. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. We have okay. more questions to go. Please, okay. let's start from, from here. You're going to be the next, no worries. We still have a lot of time. Hello, uh, Mikhail Kesari from Russia, site news.com. News uh, do you agree with that, that you are national hero of Portugal now, because Portugal won first time ever. <laughs> and can you imagine what will be happening tomorrow when you will arrive to Lisbon airport? I think, the, I think the real hero is uh, Ronaldo, but, uh, and I, I'm, glad, I'm glad he has that role. Let's, ha let's let but him have that role. But your country, it's, uh, that's something amazing. I, you I know, won I know. Portugal. And it's, you're a national hero, I think. It's, it's amazing, but uh, honestly, man, I just want to li live a peaceful life. Uh, I hope that can happen, but I'm sure it will. Maybe it will be a big fuss in the beginning, but uh, I don't know about national hero. I, I, I'd, if I thought of myself of a nat uh, national hero, it would be a bit weird, you know? Yes, I'm the national hero. <laughs> you, know? I mean, you know me. Thank you so much. Gentleman in the middle with the glasses, yes, please stand up so the guy could pass you the microphone. And then you ladies, yes. Uh, hi, uh, uh, Salvador, it's, uh, I'm from the BBC News uh, website. Uh, the um, uh, slogan for this contest has been uh, celebrate diversity. Do you think enough diversity was celebrated this evening? And do you think this festival should start reflecting it also? Uh, clearly, man, I think for a song to win, for a song like this to win, is celebrating diversity. 
It, it sure is, you know. <laughs> it's about music. You know? All I want to do is just do music and sing. And uh, uh, I think people saw this and felt this. And I, I hope for next, uh, for uh, the... the well, this, for the next editions, people can uh, can uh, bring some some different things and uh, you know all sorts of music. Thank you very much. Thank you. Who's going to be the next? Who's asking questions? Please, let's take from this side. Hello, Salvador. Ciao. This is Cristina Giuntini from Oggi Italy, and. Uh, I know we were favorites, but I don't care. I just want to congratulate you on your victory. It grazie. was well deserved. Tante grazie, eh? grazie. What I mostly like about Portugal is that you always, always stick to national language, and this is wonderful in my opinion. So my question is, uh, as everybody says that singing in English helps reach in a wider audience, uh, haven't you ever been tempted to sing your song in English? Haven't you ever thought uh, of adding some line in English, uh, which I am glad you haven't done? Um, you, you said the singing in English could help in the votes. Yes, people say. Uh, but I never cared about the vote, so I would never do uh, the song in English. I just wanted to sing a, b a beautiful song as it is. It's in Portuguese. I don't care about the votes. Thank you so much. Lady in the middle, yes, you please. Hi, Salvador. You're talking about wanting to get back to singing and performing. You've got tour dates booked all in the summer. Could we look forward to a wider European tour? Now you're champion of Europe. Champion of Europe. Uh, you know, embrace oh, it a little bit. Um, uh, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen, you know? You never know. But I hope so. And uh, I would love to go to Sud America, cantar allá también. Encantaría. Thank you very much. <coughs> Please, next questions at that side. Hello, this is Dietmar Petschel from Vienna, Austria. First of all, congratulations. I really love your song, and I think many people in Austria do. Uh, now, it must have been clear to you and your station that this is completely different from most things we've heard in Eurovision. And I wonder, was there a strategy? Okay, this needs a change, or was it just, no, I want to hear something different in this contest? Um, the, our public channel, they're here. Um, they wanted to change, uh, they wanted to they wanted change, basically. So they invited composers, uh, the best composers in the country, to do something different. You know, and they invited, of course, my sister, who is the best composer in the country, please. In Europe. Uh, and they said, well, you can interpret the song or choose an interpreter. Uh, and before she wrote the song, she already chose the interpreter, which was me, uh, <laughs> obviously. Um, and uh, yeah, that's the way it worked. It wasn't so romantic. Like she wrote this song and thought, "Oh, this would be so beautiful in this voice." She took so long because she has a baby, and you know, she was. I, I'm like, "Did you compose already?" And she's like, "No." I think she did it like the last day. Like uh, there was a deadline, and she did uh, this beautiful song in the last day possible. The most beautiful song Eurovision has ever seen. What? <laughs> Thank you so much. You're doing a great family business, actually. Yes, making some money for the family. Yay! Because <laughs> we all know Eurovision gives so much money. JP, Radio International, please. Oh, gosh. Good evening, and probably my final question of the contest. I would like to make a remark to, first of all, thank you everybody in Ukraine who hosted us here for two weeks, especially the volunteers who done a fantastic job. Exactly the artists, you. everybody. That's been here in Ukraine. Thank you so much. Such a pleasure to hear about that. Thank you. Um, congratulations, Salvador, to Luisa. My question now to Luisa. What do you think was it in that song 
and the performance that Europe voted for Portugal? Should I answer here or here? This? This. What I, thought, what I think it was in the song that made it people... Um, I think maybe it was the simplicity of it. Well, I think there were many things combined. Um, his interpretation, of course, maybe the main thing, I guess. Sometimes I think I could even have given him happy birthday that he would have won anyway. Um, but his interpretation was maybe the biggest thing. But also, I think the, the simplicity of the song uh, was, uh, was key, maybe, because um, it was very different from everything else. And I think our ear sometimes uh, is so overwhelmed with everything that is happening that when someone comes and sings something very simple and very straight to your heart, um, it works ten times more, yeah. you know? Yeah. So I think the simplicity, the way he did it, the way he delivered, the way he was feeling. This, this performance, I love every performance because he always does it differently. But this performance, I think I could see in his eyes every word. Maybe because he was tired too. Um, he was feeling everything more. And so I think all those things combined made it special, I think. Thank you very much for the explanations. And now we're going to take more questions, please, on this side. The mic. Um, good evening, Salvador. Uh, good evening, Luisa. And uh, on behalf of all of us, uh, after 50 years, we've made us all very proud. Thank you very much. <laughs> My name is Ricardo Duarte, and I represent Zenov.pt. We're a lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender news magazine uh, based in Lisbon. We're an online magazine. And as a gay man, I couldn't help but to notice that um, your song, Luisa, um, has no um, feminine or masculine pronouns or endings when relating to uh, a person. Uh, it, leaves it, it leaves the song open and beyond heterosexuality. I was just wondering, when you composed that, I mean, that's difficult to do when you speak Portuguese or any other Latin language. Was that intentional? Great question. Thank yeah. you. <clears throat> no. Uh, but I think maybe that happened because... When I write a song, even if it's a song that I write to someone else, like for someone else to sing, uh, I want to feel it as my own as well. So I think I ended up doing that because as a woman, uh, as a heterosexual woman, maybe I would write for a man to, you know, as a loving a man. And if my brother sang it, would, I would write it as loving a, a woman. So maybe because I wrote it and uh, as if it was mine, Maybe I left it without uh, feminine or masculine, so it would work for both of us. I didn't do it intentionally, but maybe that's why it doesn't have gender. I don't know. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, please, gentlemen in the middle. Thank you. Uh, sorry I lost my voice in this um, difficult week. Uh, I am Latif Chan from Turkey, ESCM5.com. <coughs> uh, That's okay, no worries. <laughs> uh, I asked the uh, same question last year to Jamala because uh, I asked to her to her horoscope was working to her winner as to say uh, to be like uh, I don't remember his her horoscope, but the same guy, uh, astrologist, uh, Dinsher Güner, is Turkish, uh, has tweeted today about your horoscope. Uh, he, will, he will be a winner because he's really on his day, and we see it works second time. What do you think on it? I'm thinking. Any opinion on the horoscopes? Uh... I'm not very spiritual, man. I, I, yeah, but I, I, I don't know. I feel like uh, any day would be our day because the song is beautiful and uh, I always feel it. I, I don't, I don't know about the horoscope, man. If it was tomorrow, I think we we would have done a, a good job too. I'm sorry. I, I know I wanted to say yes. I felt it too. It was my day, but I, I, I don't, I don't, don't feel it like. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. So, and now for a very special moment, we're going to welcome on this stage the European Broadcasting Union's Executive Supervisor, Jan Ola San. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, well, uh, I can start here to, to, to walk over and uh, I'll start with you, Salvador. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, Thank Luisa, with a fantastic song. Um, yes, and congratulations. Congratulations and congratulations. Um, this is um, a session I do every year when we have a new uh, host broadcaster. It's a little complicated to, to talk to you here, so. Um, yeah, we can sit down. Uh, this is a session I do every year when we have a new uh, host broadcaster, a new uh, winner, and uh, a new country to travel to for the next year. It's, um, this is the starting point. It's, we, we close one chapter and we open a new one uh, at the same time. Because from now on, my focus will be entirely on the preparation for Eurovision Song Contest 2018. And um, as a representative of the EBU, uh, we will put all the resources we can behind uh, a team who is helping and supporting you all the way throughout the year. It will be a challenging uh, ride, but it will be a fun ride. It will be something that will benefit the network. Uh, it's something that will benefit the host city and something that will benefit the nation. What we have seen here in Ukraine, I agree, I think it has been an amazing setup from the broadcaster, from the city of Kiev, from the authorities here in Ukraine. Uh, and um, I'm sure that we will have the same support both from the network and from the city uh, so that we can carry out a successful Eurovision Song Contest in wherever it will be in Portugal. Uh, shortly, because it's, it's soon. Uh, I will come over to you um, in, a, in a few weeks' time. Uh, we will start to talk already on Monday. Uh, I brought a little welcome package okay. with some essential information. It's printed, um, so, it, so it looks good, but it's, it will contain much more information and we will bring you a lot more in the weeks, months uh, to come. So, um, for the time being, the only thing I can say, I'm, I'm, I, I was very touched by your performance. I must say it, it was, as you said, um, bringing music back to, to Eurovision Song Contest. I, I, I think it was a, f a moment that captured Europe. And you see, it captured both the professional juries and the, the, the audiences in front of the TV screen. It was a massive victory for a great song and a great performance. And um, I'm proud of being a part of this. So um, good luck to all of you. We will talk shortly and have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jan Olesan, Executive Supervisor of the Eurovision Song Contest. And now, I guess, we have a small present from the Moldavian delegation uh, to Portugal, so it's not the end. And I would love Vanya, yes, to come and to present it. Yes, it's me. That's an important moment. Yes, I know. Thank you, Jon Ola. Salvador and uh, all Portuguese team, my congratulations to everyone. It was such a wonderful song and such a wonderful performance. I did it last year when Jamala won, and I do it in this year. It will be, I think, a small tradition of Eurovision. In Moldova, uh, I have a friend. He's uh, sick and needs uh, support. His name is Kirill. And uh, he made some beautiful things. He told me to give it to you, this tree, which symbolizes stability, health, and only good uh, in the world. Peace, love, and war. 
So I coming to give it to you. Thank you very much for the Thank present you. and for the message. Thank you. Thank you very much. So on this very special note, I guess we are done. And one more congratulations for the winner of the Eurovision Song Contest 2017, Salvador Subral from Portugal. We had a very uh, tense and happy two weeks of having you here. Thank you so much to everyone who dedicated his time to spend it here and to watch us over there. Uh, and of we, course, we are very thankful for three awesome and super shows. Tanya Terikova, Nika Konstantinova. See you in Portugal in 2018.